please put on your video as we continue. Um, you're welcome to Faith Academy Virtual Learning Center. I am Mr. Emeka John Azudomike, the HOD of Mathematics and Computer Department, Faith Academy, Kaduna. I welcome you once more to our class today. But before we continue, let us say a word of prayer. We're in the mood of prayer now. <clears throat> in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, our heavenly Father, our everlasting God, we want to say thank you for a privilege you have given us like this. Lord, to be together, to learn together. Mighty Father, we ask that your presence shall be with us all through this learning period. Lord, you shall enhance the understanding of the students, quicken their understanding, give them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, O oh Lord. And for me, the teacher, Jehovah, King of glory, you shall empower me. Give me new insights, O oh Lord, to teach effectively in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, please, Amen. as you're logging in, put on your video, please. Put on your video. Thank you. And make sure you have your writing materials with you. <clears throat> make sure you have your writing materials, your pen, your Amen. mathematics notebook, Faith Academy Mathematics Notebook, your solution notebook, and your calculator. So that by the time we start, you will not need to be going up and down looking for those materials. And then also, uh, we will continue today, as we all know, we are looking at the subject mathematics and the topic at hand is trigonometry. Last week, we were able to derive the cosine rule and we applied it in solving one example. Now, I gave us an assignment, but I did not receive any feedback. Only one person attempted the assignment, and even the person that attempted it did not actually send the solution. The person was asking me one or two questions. And also, I remembered last time before the end of that class, Edward was saying we should solve another example. So that left me with no option to conclude that. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. That left me with no option to conclude that it's like we will need more examples under the sign rule before we can move on to the cosine, mm -hmm. cosine rule. Exactly. Yes. Good, I know that. So that is why today we will continue with that. We will take more examples under the sign rules because your feedback went a long, a long way to tell me that we will need to take more examples. In fact, the only person that attempted it was even telling me, asking me how to get sign, how to get yes. sign of an angle. That is when you have something like sign A or sign B or sign C to find. You know, the first example we did had to do with sides. You know, and then um, Masoyi, Masoyi sent some questions to me to help him to solve. Now, when I was solving those questions, I discovered that the questions, the two questions had to do with trigonometry, not sine rule or cosine rule, as it were. So, though, I solved it and I sent it to him. So, I was actually expecting him to give me a feedback concerning the, the sine rule we treated, but I didn't receive any feedback from him. And then I think Pamela Ango, too, I saw your, your work, but you typed it. And then um, I think I'm um, Ochakba for the previous class. So please, I've said it before. Anytime you're, submitting your, anytime you're submitting your assignment, please don't type it. Solve it in your notes, in your mathematics, Faith Academy Mathematics Notebook. Then you can 
screenshot it or you can snap it. Screenshot it or snap it and then send it to my WhatsApp number. The WhatsApp number is on the screen there. You can see it there. You can send it to my WhatsApp number. It's on the screen there. It will be more easier for me to assess and it will also save you more time in solving because that typing mathematics is not easy. I've said it before, so I'm repeating it again now. And um, there are some people that I have never seen their assignment. I think, let me say it here. But they are always in the class. So I don't know what they are trying to tell me. Are they trying to tell me that they don't have any problem? I need to get a feedback from those people. Bobo, I know you are in the house. Bobo. I've never seen your assignment, though. All right. So let us continue, please. Now, okay. oh, last week, we looked at sign rule. We were able to, to derive the sign rule, and we also applied it. I gave us two triangle. One was yeah. an acute triangle, and the other one was an obtuse triangle, and we used it to derive the sign rule. We went through it extensively last week. That was why we spent much time on that on um, in our teaching. That we couldn't take more examples. Now, just like we said, that is the sign rule, which says that side A all over sine angle A is equal to side B all over sine angle B is equal to side C all over sine angle C. And we also said that this the the alphabet with small letters they represent the sides. Why the capital letter represents the words? The capital letter represents the words? The angles. The angles, correct. So after we derive angles. It, yes, after we derived it, that is what we have there. And I remember I asked us to memorize them. So how many of you have been able to put it to heart? How many of us? Um, Sammy. Sammy. All right. Sammy. Okay. Edward, what of you? Letitia. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Sammy. Letitia. Ebuka, <laughs> hey, please. Uh -huh. All right. Ebuka, hey, are you with us? Joba, what of you? All right. What Joba. Of Joba? Bola. Timai. West. Yes, sir. Paul Chong. Mm. Oh, I've not seen your assignment, too. Huh. Okay. Who is this iPad? It's on your video, everybody. Shima. All right, so, thank God most of you have been able to memorize it. So we will continue from there. We'll take another example for more clarification. Last week, we were able to solve this particular example. So this week, we'll, be, we'll begin with this particular one here, example two. Now the question says in triangle ABC, side A is nine centimeter, angle B is one hundred and ten degrees, and side B is equal to thirteen centimeters. Solve the triangle completely. Solve the triangle completely. Take note of that. 
What they're trying to ask you to do here is this. You find all the dimensions and all the angles. Now, if you look at the triangle there, we are given only one angle. So it means that they are expecting us to find the other two angles. They are expecting us to find the other two angles. And also, if you look at it, they were given only two sides. So they are also expecting us to find the third side. Are we together? Now, this is a triangle. This is a triangle. A, B, C. And this is side C. This is side B, which is 10 centimeters. And this is side A, which is 9 centimeters. And they gave us angle B to be 110 degrees. Now, they said we should solve the triangle completely. It means we will look for angle C, angle A, side C. That is what we are going to look for now. But then now, somebody was asking me, how do we get, how do we solve for any angle using the side angle? So we are going to see it here now. Now, look at this diagram. Remember, we are using this formula. A, oh no, sine A. Sine A. Yes, equal to B over what? Sine B. It's equal to what? B over sine B. And then equal to C. C over sine C. Yes, C over sine C. This is what we are expected to use. Now, on the diagram here, remember I explained to us that you can only use two terms per time. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, if you look at this diagram, who can tell me which of the terms do you think can be applicable here to find one of them? B and A. Okay, B and A, correct. Who is that? Edward. Okay, Edward. Yes, thumbs up. Please clap for Edward. Yes, so we'll be using A over sine A. B over sign B. The reason is this. This is the reason why Edward said we we'll use B and A. The reason is this. If you look at the diagram, and B was given to us, and then side B is also given to us. So which means this one now is complete now. So we can use this one. And then if you look at here now, side A was given to us. Now we can easily find angle A. That was why Edward said we should use A and B. All right. So what we just simply do here is this. We can just say all over sign A all over sign A is equal to B all over sign B. And our A is what? Side A is what? No. Side A is what? Nine centimeter. Nine. So it's going to be nine all over what? Nine all over sign A. Side A equal to side B is what? Thirteen centimeter. So it's going to be thirteen all over what? Thirteen. Yes, all over. Right. One hundred and ten. Yes. One hundred and ten. centimeters. One hundred and ten. Yes. Then from here, we will make the small a the subject of the formula, isn't it? Thirteen all over sine b. Yeah. So it's going to be what now? Yes, sir. Now on that sign a is this sign a or nine? This one is sign a. This one is nine. It's nine. 
So, so, so we are going to make sign A the subject of the formula. Who will help us? I multiply all through by. Multiply all through by what? That will cross multiply. Okay, if you are cross multiplying. So I will cross multiply. All right, so when you cross multiply, what will we get? You have 13. It is a A, is it? Yes, sir. Is equal to what? Nine. Nine times 110. Nine times 110 degrees. Please, I hope you remember what I said last week. That you should always write down the what? The numbers before the angles, isn't it? Yes, sir. Good. And I gave you the reason why you should do that last week. Yes, sir. All right. So, what do we do from here now? What do you want to make sign A the subject? Divide both sides by 13. Correct. So when you divide both sides by 13, this is what you get. Sign A is going to be equal to 9 sine 110 degrees all over 13. When you do that in your book, this is what you will get. Because the 13 here will come to the 13 degrees. Wonder. So this is what you will get. Now, let me verify something for us in case of next time or in case of exams condition. Please, let's look up everybody. In case of exams condition, do you know in WAEC, if WAEC is to mark this step now, there will not be any for this one. This one here now, this one, this particular equation, there's no mark for it. And then remember we said after this one, there's another one. Divide both sides by 13. There's no mark for that one also. The mark only for this and then this one. There will not be mark for this. But it is good you solve it step by step to avoid error. What I'm trying to say is this: by the time you are already you are you already conversant with the sign rule, what you just need to do is this: by the time you get here, the next thing is just to make sign a subject of the formula. Now look at what you do. Observe this. Let me circle this one. This is what I want to make subject of the formula. This one down. What you just do is this: just multiply. This one by this one by this one and put it all over this one. Yeah. Give you this one direct. In case if it is something like this, maybe B all over sine three. Let us look at this one now. It's equal to B four all over sine, let's say five. So your marker is blown. The marker. What of this one? So I can see it. All right. Now let's say you have something like this. And you are asked to make this. And you're asked to make B the subject of the formula. Look up again, look at the board again. You are asked to make this B the subject of the formula. What you just simply need to do is this write down this one times this one, direct this one times the one up. Just say B is going to be equal to 3 times 30 all over sine 40. That's all. Direct. Don't need to survive yourself. If it is this one, multiply the one up by this one down, then put it over this one. If it is this one, multiply this one down by this one, put it over this one down. So don't need to go through the steps of writing all these ones. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's continue. Yeah. Now, somebody should find. 
Now, this is sign A. Don't forget. This is sign A. But what we are looking for is what? A. Angle, a. angle a, a, not sign A. So, what do you think you can do here? Yes, find the sign inverse of what? Correct. Well, hope you ask students are with us. I have not seen, I have not seen Chidalo. So I was doing sign inverse. Yeah. Okay, Joba is there. Joba is always there. Hey, hey, good job. I'm working with Chima. Okay, so Chima has problem. Oh, Chidalu. Hey, good job. I can see you. Yes, work on my phone has problem. Okay, your phone has problem. Is every time your phone is a problem. Who is this X X X X? <laughs> I wonder. I'm here. Leticia. No. Sir. Yes, I can now see Mercy, I can see Mercy now. All right. Oh, it's well. Now we'll find the sign inverse. I explained to us how to get this sign inverse. But let me do it for the sake of, let me just make one, um, throw more light on this thing for the sake of the art students. Now they said the sign student, the sign student that they must say we should find the sign inverse. That is, A is going to be equal to sign inverse of 0 0.6506. Now, how do we get this sign inverse from here? We divide now, both sides by sign. Here. We have something like sign A is equal to 0 0.65, for example. Now, I want to find the value of angle A. What I'm simply going to do here, just as usual, not like the way you have something like 2x is equal to 4, for example, in our normal algebraic equation. If you have something like 2x is equal to 4, and you're asked to find the value of x, what do you simply need to do here? You divide, divide both sides, sides by, by what? By the coefficient of x. Correct. Or try by, by the coefficient of x, which is two. Yeah. So you divide both sides by two, by two. So this two now cancels the two. We are left with x. X equals two. Are we together? Now, x is going to be equal to four all over two. Are you aware, listen, are you aware that this two down here, I can write the whole of this equation like this. I can write it like this. Four times one all over two. Are you aware? Yes, yes sir. Are you also aware that I can also write this one, this equation like this. X is equal to four times two raised to the power of minus one. 
Are you aware it's the same thing? Yes, sir. No, yes, sir. Sir. Eh? Yes, no, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. How do you know that, that I can write it like this? How do you know? From sir, your what? From indices. From your law of indices. Who is that? Law of indices. Correct. A law of indices. Yeah, from your law of indices. I can write this in this. So that is how that is how the inverse is coming in now. That sign inverse, that's how it's coming in. So the same procedure, we are going to apply it here. Then you will see how this sign inverse will come in. So let's apply it now. We will see it. Now, from here now, we are looking for A. So what do we do? We divide both sides by what? Sign. Yes, by sign, as it were. Though it's not the mass, after this is a good function. So we have sign like this. Now, this sign cancels this sign. We are left with what? A is equal to what? 0 0.65 all over sign. Isn't it? Then I said we can write this one as A is equal to 0. A is equal to 0 0.65 times 1 all over sign. Isn't it? Then we can now say A is equal to 0 0.65 times sign A to power plus 1, which is the sign inverse now. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes, sir. So now the sign inverse is coming. Yes, sir. So that is it. So now we can continue. So what did I do? It is your duty to now teach the rest of your class members. <laughs> Don't find a way of explaining to them all these things we are doing. That's why you are the class monitor and you are the leader. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> now we're going to find the sign inverse of 0 0.65060. So what is it going to be now? Who will help us? 40.5868. I didn't hear you correctly, Edward. 40.5868. 40.5868. No, 5.8. All right, so let's stop here. So it means that angle A, angle A is equal to this. Now we can approximate it to two decimal places. It is if you are not given, if you are not asked to approximate, but you want your work to be well presented. It is preferable that you approximate your digits or your values to two decimal places. It is more acceptable and it is more standardized to give your values in mathematics to two decimal places. That is, if you are not asked to approximate. Exactly. But at the same time, you will not be penalized if you leave your answer to say you got it. Nobody will penalize you because no instruction was given to you. But if you must do it by yourself, after you must have approximated, then you must write it down close to the answer that it is to so, so, so significant figure or to so, so, so decimal place. If not so, they will reduce your mark. You have to indicate it there because they didn't ask you to do it. But if you must do it, then you must explain to them to what significant figure are you putting it or to what decimal place. Is that clear? Now, I want to go to the decimal place. So I have five, nine. Remember, it's angle. What is going to be the unit now? <laughs> yes, so that is that. So that is angle A now. We've got an angle A. Are we together? No. <laughs> 
Are we together? Yes, yes sir. So yes, is it clear? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the next thing we have to look for is what? See. And what? I will see. see. So who will help us to get I will see? Somebody was raising an hand. Is this a Kowanchi? Sir, some of angles in the triangle. This who? Sir, some of angles in the triangle. Who is the person? Who, who said that? Ah, Chidalu. All right, Chidalu, you are correct. Some of the angle in the triangle is equal to what? 180 degrees, Angu. isn't it? So that is what yes, you are going to use to get angle C. So, for me, this side, we are done with this side. So to get as you see, we use all the angles of the triangle that is, as you see now, it's going to be equal to 180 degrees, a minus, a minus, and a couple brackets, and a couple brackets, plus, and a couple brackets, 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 and a couple Think that are you are you all listening? Please listen to me. Anytime you want to use a result that you are the one that found by yourself at the cost of solving that problem, anytime you want to use that result to further solve your problems, don't use the approximated value. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. Don't use the approximated value use the raw value the way it is are we together so now i will not copy 14.59 i will go and use 14.5868 is that clear so now i have 14.5868 now, see that you said, no. of our group, yes, sir. a triangle. Now, and the C is going to be equal to 180 degree minus. So please add up 110 to 40.5868. What will we get? What will be the answer? It will be what? I'm waiting for us now. The answer is already on the board. 150.58. Yes, it's on the board there. 150.5868. Mm -hmm. So subtract it from 180. What will you give us? What will you give us? Subtract it now. Let's see what it will give us. What will you give us? Start twenty nine point four one three two. Twenty nine point four one three two. Three two. Stop this guy from again. From Start from Angusti. Angle C is this one. Look at it. Now look at the board. Angle C is this one. We've already found angle A. Angle A is 40.5868. Now we have angle A, we have angle B. We want to find angle C. So we can use the form of angles in a triangle to find angle C. So what we want to do is this. Add this one, angle B, to angle A and subtract it from... 180 degrees, it will give you as you see. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. So now, as you see, that will be equal to 29.41 degrees to two decimal places. Huh? 
Now we continue. Now we are left with side C. Now we are to find side C. Side C. Side C. Who will give me a clue on what to do in order to get side C? Are you B or by side B? You call to C over side C. Yes, you said what? B over side B over side C. Yes. Because to C over side C. Yes. Look at it now. Already you found and you see, but you don't have side C. So definitely I'm going to use this one, which is any code of uh, sign C is, is equal to. Now you will check from the diagram given to you, which one has an angle and a corresponding side that is complete from the diagram. You will discover that is B. B has a side and it has its angle there. So it's more preferable for us to use the one given to us in the question. Please take note. I'm not saying that if you use A over sign A, you will not get your answer. But listen, for your answer to be very close or very, very accurate, use the values in the question given to you. Is that clear? So let us use A over sign A here. Yes, sir. So we have Yes, it's B that was given to us, not A. So we have B all over sign B. So B here is 13 all over sign 110 degree. From the question, side B was given to us and angle B was given to us. But if I still use side A and angle A, I will still get it. It's just that there may just be a little difference of the approximation maybe point something something but it, i will still get the correct answer all right so from here now we will look for side c side c so who will tell me what if i if i make side c the subject of the formula who will tell me what to write directly from there What should I put down? So C equals to uh -huh. C equals to 13 sine 29.4132. Correct. 13, that is what? 13 sine 29. Size boy. Okay, boy. Well done. Boy. Sine 13 sine 4132. All over. Sign one one zero. Yes, sign one hundred and ten degrees. So we have thirteen signs. We now find the sign of twenty nine point four one three two. What is it going to give us? Zero point nine one one. Zero point. Four one four nine one one four nine one 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 all over sign one hundred and ten will give us what uh, eight point four five seven yeah. sign one hundred and ten will give us what <laughs> I didn't get also. 
Nine seven. Nine seven. Nine so divide it now, what do we get? 6.79 Multiply this 13 by the by 0 0.4911, what do we get first of all? 6.3843 6.3843 So 4, 4, 3, 8, 4, 3. So now divide that, what do we get now? Finally, we have side C, we go to what? Sir, 6.7940. 6.7940. 6.7940. Sir, 6.7939. Sir, 6.7939. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, that will give us... Size 4-0. Another person is getting... 3-9. Don't worry. Size 4-0. Size 4-0. Size 4-0. Size 4 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 Size Let's leave it like this. Don't approximate. So now I can approximate this one. And that is not the full one. So I can have 6.79 centimeters. Remember the size you are looking for. For what? So two yes, decimal places. So if, you see, we have solved this triangle completely. We have solved it completely now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. But I want to believe, at least with this one now, we shouldn't have any problem. Yes, sir. Because at least you have seen how to solve or how to find angles and how to find sides. And you have seen how to know which term from the sign rule you are to use part time. So I expect more of my assignments this week, please. I'm taking note of all these things, though. OK, sir. All right. You say, Anna? That is not me. Okay, who is who is the person asking question? Um, Ask your question. Uh, in the assignment. Yes. In the assignment. They say they can change degrees to something. I don't know. I don't understand it. How they change it. They say the words. I didn't get it. Who is asking the question? That is Anna. Anna, what I say? I didn't get it clearly. You see that they change the degree. So I said in the textbook, you yes. 
something. I don't be so happy. I'm not. I'm not get- I'm not getting you, Anna. I'm not getting you. Please, who is who is getting her? Which of the Anna? Is it Anna Ghana or? <laughs> Line is breaking over. Anna, just write it. Okay. Now, if you look at all assignments, there are wire questions, so and they are very simple. You see how simple it is. How simple they are. The first one is says you calculate the value of angles A and C. From the following triangle. So they are very simple. So please attempt them and let me get your feedback, please. Let me get your feedback. Masoi. Masoi, are you with us? Yeah, he could not attend today's class. Hey, he's not in the class. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. What happened? So, and he went for a check. He went for a check. Yes, sir. Hello. 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 I'm expecting your feedback, please. I think I have two questions. Okay, what's the question? Oh, have you seen my assignment? Hi. Asking, who is asking? <laughs> so have you seen my assignment? Who, who is the person that's asking now? Who, who, who is talking? Edward. Huh? Edward. 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 Nice. Edward, did you see your assignment? Bro? Edward. Edward. <laughs> I didn't see your assignment, Edward. Edward. Ah, sir. I you will be your own judge. Sir, email. Sir, I made my own. Was it yesterday you, you sent it? Yes, sir. Uh, wait, did you type it? I lost my own. Okay, see what will happen. Uh, Edward, my second question. Edward. No, sir. Okay, stop typing it. You yeah. always send it to my WhatsApp number. To my WhatsApp, don't send it to my WhatsApp. Oh, yeah, it's my... <laughs> so, the WhatsApp number is on the screen there. Okay, sir. Yes, always send it to my WhatsApp, please. It's my record, just my own. Who is the person? Uh, Sam, I no question. And uh, 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 is it through my email too? And it's not on uh, sure. you mean. Uh, no, I didn't see it. But okay, no, what happened? Send it to my WhatsApp, please. Just send it to my WhatsApp. Okay, sir. So, my second question. I'm okay, what I'm is the second question? Thank you. I'm missing you. Thank you. I'm missing all of you, my dear. Uh-huh. That one is cool, That one is in the streets. It's coming back. It's the streets. Until we hear from us. Until we hear from the State Ministry of Education. Uh, no, no, no. is on the fourth, no, according to the timetable that is out. The fourth of August. So <laughs> we are still we are still expecting a secular from the State Ministry of Education no, no, no. on to when to resume. And when they come, so they are and they will just do revision and then they write their work. So automatically already you plan as a three already. So they postpone. Our work is next year, not this year. Work is next year. Our work is next year. So they postpone it. Go to the university next year. So that one is the first time. The better, the better pray hard. No, our fault now. No, the better pray hard. You can pray hard. So it's not our fault. They just have to be our mate. No, you can pray hard. You must go to university next year. 
I said, I will go, but you're right with us. <laughs> so I will see side by side. <laughs> okay. So you want to stay with your seniors in one class? Yes, sir. So I book one by Okay. Go me All right. So thank you for participating. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. Let us do this again next time. Next week. God bless you all. Stay safe and always maintain social distancing. Distancing. Bye bye. Bye bye, sir. Thank you. I'll be into our class. All the isolation center. Bye bye. Bye bye.